take 23. No, I was kidding. Okay, so let's do this. Welcome to uh, the talk on Penpot. It's uh, my pleasure to be back on FOSDEM, whether it's face-to-face uh, -face or online, to give you a nice follow-up on what we've been doing uh, throughout 2020. At the time, it was not called Penpot. That was something we decided um, a few months ago. Initially, the code name was UXbox. What we wanted to do is to bring to a free and open source ecosystem a professional platform for designers and creative people to be able to do all sort of prototyping and design, uh, particularly meant for digital products like interfaces or any sort of design that is meant to then be uh, printed or uh, interacted with if it's uh, an app or or a website or whatever. So our idea is um, there are too many um, proprietary tools out there that do a fine job. And it's tempting to decide that since the open source arena doesn't provide me as a, as a designer uh, with a tool that I can use professionally and uh, you know work together with other the, the members of my team in a diverse and cross-functional team, I'll, I'll make an exception and while other people are using all sorts of open source tools, I'll have to admit and concede that I need to use, uh, you know, whether it's Sketch or Figma or um, or uh, or Envision. So we decided, no way. We're going to make sure that we have a proper, outstanding, super professional platform, the likes of perhaps Blender in 3D modeling, but for uh, prototyping and design. So a year has passed, and now we're ready to announce what we promised. Uh, we promised back then that we would be uh, giving you uh, a sort of an alpha or a 1.0 or MVP, whatever you want to call it, the first public release that you can work with. That is going, you can trust, that is actually stable and has a lot of features. And of course, it still has to do, other, you know, we have a huge roadmap ahead, but you can already enjoy and be productive with which is critical for that uh, first impression. Like, should I be able to use this or would I like to uh, depend on this tool? What we wanted a resounding yes on that first impression. So that's that's uh, that, that's the tough job because when do you stop actually developing a tool for that 1.0 that has to to uh, to give you that feeling of a, of a finished product and still uh, a lot of potential. We think we have achieved that. Actually, we did uh, some extra work we didn't uh, think we were able to do in, in, in this time and also the pandemic. So, you know, uh, all in all, I think we we are in in a, in a, in a quite great uh, moment. So I'm going to share the, the screen now for you to um, uh, enjoy. I'm going to do a sort of a, a, a commentary voice. So. I'm going to show you the, the actually uh, a quick, very quick uh, demo while I while I tell. So this is this is Penpot. So welcome to 1.0. This is uh, for a pre-recorded session that was Juan, one of the lead designers and founders of Penpot. He is going to uh, offer uh, an alternative design of the Fostem uh, website. Just an example, you know what we we'll do. Let's do something. Let's contribute to Fostem, even if it's just uh, an exercise probably futile, but it's just uh, to do something that you can relate to. This is a very them oriented uh, presentation, as you can already uh, feel. So here, what you're seeing is um, we have the Canvas. And Canvas comes with uh, grids and alignment and all sort of uh, you know tools and objects that you can add. Of course, you can add text. There's a lot of things going on here. Images, you know, the Fosdem 21 there is not a text, obviously. And uh, what, what Juan is doing is very quickly using the, um, the grid system and the intelligent alignment system and all the proportions and sizes and, 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 and widths and everything. Um, Pempot is helping him to see whether things are aligned or have the, the appropriate uh, relationship or the ratio. And now he's using the you know, free tool, uh, you know, like uh, paths to draw shapes. You can see the, uh, uh, your uh, left all the layers uh, and some some of them he will probably be renaming so it's not path four or path three but it's actually uh, a proper unique name because uh, you know it has an entity and and 
here is uh, using that um, color management, <clears throat> the uh, translucency, opacity, um, shadowing. Um, he, I think he actually rotated some stuff, uh, reported radius there. Now he just imported from his um, image library uh, the FOSDEM logo. Now multiple selection and drag and drop movement. Uh, he's switching between uh, visible grid and hidden grid. So he always has a one click away view of what is going on, how it's going to look. <clears throat> and um, so we, we wanted to make sure that uh, people coming to uh, PenPod would feel that all the usual suspects in terms of uh, user patterns were there. Like the, the, current, the, the learning curve is really not steep. Uh, there's some familiarity with other tools that people use. Uh, we think, uh, yeah, you see a rotation there. Um, we think it's very important that people feel productive from day one, uh, particularly uh, designers uh, do value that uh, their their ideas, their inceptions, you know, their their imagination really is, is able to be fleshed out <clears throat> rather quickly. And the tool is an extension of themselves sometimes, you know, and they might feel frustrated if they cannot conceive something at the speed uh, uh, of their you know, imagination. So we make sure that um, uh, PenPod, even if we have some uh, our own ideas on how things should work as a prototyping and design tool, we wanted to, to make sure people uh, found themselves in, in familiar territory. So, you know, the, it's, it's the, the super minute interactions that make a, a, the difference like oh so the 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 way i'm using the the, the mouse or, you know the reaction the feedback of the tool is exactly what i would expect so we hope that you you find penpod very much uh, as, a, as an extension of your own hand or or body or mind so here you see uh, we have a lot of uh, text uh, transformation uh, duplicate objects with all its internal layers you know to speed up uh, some some work, um, typography and text in general was was a challenge because remember we are using SVG. SVG is our storage. SVG is the standard. It's an open standard. It's a pretty strong standard, but it's not being used by the competition by all the platforms. They're using their proprietary uh, formats. We decided that we 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 wanted to pursue open standards also in in, in files and formats and storage. So we're using SVG, but that came with its own challenges. And one of them was definite, definitely text management. So uh, we had to come with very smart workarounds to still use SVG and have all the potential and uh, capabilities of HTML and CSS. And um, and you, you've seen here uh, how well we, we fared. I think we we managed to do some, some you know, wrapping, text wrapping and all that. It's really not that uh, easy on, in, when you're using SVG. So um, this is uh, this is of course this is not the speed at which uh, Juan typically works. Um, he's he's slowing things down a bit. <laughs> no, actually, I mean this is one one hour's worth of work. I uh, speed up about six secs, I think. Um, so, but he's 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 doing this for the first time. He's just doing um, a nice Foston website. And um, he's really productive. I mean, he, he developed uh, PenPod, so he knows how to use all the little options. Um, but he's also quite exquisite. Um, at the moment, we can say that PenPod team is using now PenPod for develop and design PenPod itself. So things that we are not uh, showing here is the design system support for PenPod. So you can actually have files and canvas you know um, assets that can be then uh, have this ripple effect that you change one thing one definition one color one property in one item but since that is co considered um, uh, a main uh, you know uh, component the uh, parent one all the children will immediately be affected as long as you want it to be uh, you know pempo will always tell you hey the the parent uh, item has changed and you are using uh, this inheritance in this design would you like those those changes to be applied here you know so you know what's what's going on 
here you can see some gradients color management not only the color picker but the color management we're really really proud of of how fast and and, and easy uh, to use this um, we wanted to make sure that every time you you make any any small change you see all the different ratios and, and proportions uh, being shown to you so you get that second so here is the yeah he's, he's now he's, he's duplicated a canvas this is for the about page so he mostly now has to get rid of stuff so multiple selection delete bam gone and uh, he will now add some you see uh, they're very you know a lot of contextual um, dialogues of course the moment you select a tool you get those extra um, dialogues that are relevant only for that tool sometimes you see you see that at the bottom the, the, the that uh, color palette we borrowed that idea from the great tool that it's um, um, Inkscape which is a different kind of beast you know multi-purpose uh, vector uh, vectorial uh, platform that's uh, you know you can do a lot of stuff um, with Inkscape and and one of the things we like the most is the, the way they they handle the color palette and that color palette actually grows um it is somehow keeping track of all the colors that you're using in case you want to just again go back and say ah oh, yeah i like that, that purple thank you for, for now that's the prototyping so of course we want to make sure that you can do this interactive prototyping with links and i click i click again and then i show and i want to show you here one of the things that we're most proud of all, all the code around the you know all the properties around any any elements but of course also the css and the svg so everything here everything you've seen is actually code we're not translating we're not doing anything like uh some yeah some sort of translation into a svg or css this is native native um, storage you know this is this is our choice this is our agenda this is how we lobby for open standards we're using uh svg and and css as a, as a, as a easy translation um after that, we're going to show you uh, comments. So, you know, we're slowing things down a bit, so you get notifications for comments. We need to have this stuff because it's uh, it's it's all about teamwork and workflows and conversation, and this is pretty you know this is standard in the in the industry at the moment. So you can navigate through all the comments, and also if you go to the prototype and activate comments, you can see also you know overlaid the comments, and you can interact and do stuff uh, also on prototype level, which is very typical for uh, stakeholders. This will be the multi-user, and this is going to actually to be the last part of the live demo or the pseudo live demo. Here you can see three users. You, at the top you see three uh, icons. And so three people are, are working here together, although you only see two at the moment. So that's Juan and Andy. And um, from Juan's perspective, uh, he's, he's working, he's doing, he's aware of uh, Andy's presence. And also he's aware of what he's doing, more or less. I mean, things are in, in a way a bit transactional. So the moment that Andy, uh, you know, clicks enter or just uh, whatever is when, when you actually see uh, that, uh, that change applied to the to this shared canvas, okay? So this was um, pretty much what I wanted to show you in terms of the platform. You, you cannot have that without team collaboration. And that means project management and all the things that come with uh, permissions and inviting people and uh, having shared drafts and, and all that. So I didn't show you that because uh, that is a challenge to, do, to, to make it right. But, uh, you know, the exciting stuff lies lies in the in the canvas and the prototype and the low code and the comment system and the multi-user simultaneous multi real-time user thing we just released this you know it's uh, a few days after we actually released 1.0 we want to uh we wanted to launch the official penpod on-premise uh docker image uh, this is important for us because uh everything is is server as a service at the moment uh, we want to yeah of course provide server as a service but we want people to download this and use it locally if they want in their, their laptops or in their in their servers or whatever and we want to um, continue to develop features to bridge the existing gap between established design apps like yeah the ones i already mentioned because we want to make less and less likely that someone will dismiss penpod upon first use so for us it's very important that particularly designers uh, the, 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 that first impression should be good enough for them to say, okay, I'm going to continue to trust this 
uh, for some days and see how it goes. Um, we want to also um, very privately, you know, wish uh, pursue some migration migration success stories from the competition. Yeah, so we want to to hear from people saying I was using Figma and I'm using Pen, but I'm very glad that I did because blah blah blah. You know, I'm, I'm, please tell us and share those stories. Any migration is going to be good for the open source uh, ecosystem and and the community to know about those those stories. So that would be great. So we try and pursue those migration success stories. We want to work on in, uh, SVG uh, um, import so that you can edit any SVG you are importing from other tools and do it like it's really very modular and so and that's a challenge to to accept SVG from other tools. You know, SVG sometimes it gets messy depending on the tool. We want to add a boolean boolean operations uh, with uh, you know across elements. We want to have some sort of file management also. So we want to also be able to import files from competitors like Figma files or Sketch files and see if we can do some transformation and, and import that with a you know acceptable loss of of information. We also want to, you saw the prototype, the interactive prototype where you were linking uh, items to panes and things. Um, and then you have the typical click and then you go you go there, that's fine. But we want to give more, more advanced interactions. Um, and also we want to work on Tiger and Penpot integrations. So this is, uh, this is Tiger. Well, actually this is two screens of Tiger. And this is uh, this is uh, Kanban uh, with zoom out, very compact and, and expanded. This is um, basically this is Tiger Six. We all also released this uh, a few days ago. Tiger is all about agile project management. It's open source. We've been doing this for for a few years now, and we feel that if they make, I mean, we are the developers of Tiger. We are the developers and creators of Penpot. So it made sense that we would have some sort of bundle, some integration. We haven't, I mean, there are some low hanging fruit in terms of features and integrations. Like I will close an issue while I was, while I'm in Penpot, or I will create a new design uh, through a new user story on, on Tiger, you know, things like that. Those are pretty simple and straightforward. We want to think more creatively because we think it's all about the process, the workflow and team collaboration. And we think those two tools should uh, match um, together really nicely. Uh, so yeah, this is Tiger Six. You probably already heard about this, but you can you can go to tiger.io and check this out. This is the spring, this is the scrum, and uh, you know, also different zoom levels for spring task force. So that they will be the uh, this, the uh, screens for during a sprint. Uh, so it, if you didn't know about uh, Tiger, uh, go and, and check it. Integration with Git repositories so that every design, every every SVG code that you have, it's also being uh, you know synchronized with a Git repository, so you can go back and forth, Git repository, uh, Penpot. Uh, perhaps you, you want to edit the SVG on the Git repository, and you see the new color popping up um, on on the Penpot interface. You know, and of course related to that, actively managed community contributions because we feel a lot of plugins and ideas will come from the community, and that is that's probably you know going to take the rest of the year. And that's it. So uh, call to action. There are two things we would like to ask you. Um, one, just try it out and um, perhaps write an article or review. Tell us what we think. You know, spread the word if you, if, if you feel like it. Uh, you can send an email. Uh, you know, we want to know um, your opinion on this. And also the the second thing, trying it out, writing about it, sharing about Penpot, would be what do you want. Uh, us to develop, you know, or what do you think you could contribute, you know, whether it's features or assets, uh, because you know, we feel there's going to be also a lot of open source uh, design stuff, just assets like creativity, you know, like um, logos, uh, shapes, icons, uh, uh, you know, with all the SVG love or or bitmap, you know. And so we would like to know what do you think, you know, what, what should we be doing next? Um, and uh, we, we need to know from you. Uh, we will actively, you know, doing polls and all that. But uh, feel free to tell us how a roadmap should look like um, in the foreseeable future. So this was it. You know, uh, thank you very much for your for your time. I hope you like what we've developed over the with this year. We continue to work full time. Uh, you know, full speed. Uh, really 
really exciting uh, year ahead. Thank you very much. Thank you for some.